Hey guys, welcome back to Colbin Craft. In today's video, we are going to create a Raspberry Pi project in which when we press a button, the LED will blink up to create an SOS signal. We'll, we will be using the Morse code for this SOS signal. Basically, the Morse code for an SOS signal is dot 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 dash 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 dot dot dot. So let us write the program for this. First of all, we need to import rpi.gpio so rpi.gpio as gpio and we also need to import time so writing down the set mode for this gpio.set mode will be gpio.bcm which stands for the broadcom now we need to tell the a Raspberry Pi what is an input and what is an output so set up our LED is the output so GPIO dot out and our switch will be the input so GPIO dot setup again and which is GPIO dot in but additionally we need to mention that it is a pull up resistor so up down it's a pull underscore up underscore down is gpio dot uh pud underscore up but we first need to declare our variable led is in my led is in gpio pin number 22 and switch is in 27 so yeah we have told the raspberry pi that our led is the output switch is the input and now we need to write the main program so try while one for the infinite loop and if the switch is off that is if gpio dot input if there is no input which our led should be off so gpio dot output led dot led comma gpio dot low so this will keep the led off and now if the button is pressed we need to send out the sos signal like I have said, it's triple dot, triple dash, and triple dot. We need the, you know, it's basically the dot will be the LED will blink for short duration, and dash will be LED will be blinking for longer duration. So now, if I write down, you know, GPIO dot output LED GPIO dot high, then I'll be adding the delay that is time dot sleep for dot i'll be creating a delay of just a small you know i'll be uh, adding for like 0.2 seconds so now three times dot that is i'll i have to copy paste this code for three times then again for dash i have to create more delay i have to change just the instead of 0.2 i'll be writing one so that will create you know a, a bit of confusion and the program will be a bit complicated so instead of writing this gpio dot high and low again and again i'll just create two functions as dot and dash I'll create a defined dot and i've just copy pasted the command for this will keep the led on for like 0.2 seconds and I want the LED off for the next 0.2 seconds. So, yep, we have created the dot, you know, signal. And now for the dash, the same thing, but for longer duration. So for that, we just need to create a change in the bracket for the delay, which is instead of 0.2, we'll create a delay of one second. So yes, we are almost done over here. 
and now we'll just need to you know call the function so three times dot 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 dash 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 and for the last three times for the last three dots i'll just just copy paste it and we are done over here just we'll we need to uh, reset the gpio pins so accept keyboard interrupt gpio dot cleanup the command for resetting the gpio pins we have not we have we had pasted the command but not change low from high so we need to turn off the led and now it will run hopefully so when i am pressing this button again yep it creates the ss signal so let's check it again dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 but it works very fine but as you can see it is uh, signal is not clear between the first three dots and then the dashes so we'll again add some delay over here for maybe 0.5 and try this code again just to have a clear look at the signal so run i'm pressing the button dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 works well and you can also try creating different uh, signals using the morse code you can create these two functions the dot and the dash and you can also add another button over here to this uh, raspberry pi to this breadboard and write down you know for example we have this red button for the SOS signal you can add one more button which sends another kind of signal this was all for the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.